This year has made me understand how important John the Baptist is in the whole of the Advent message. He was, as the prologue in John's Gospel says, there was a man sent from God, his name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to that light. He was, if you like, as someone said, the mouthpiece and not the message. And so we go through Advent and we are at Gaudete Sunday. Rejoicing is Gaudete. And it's a bit like being in the sort of mothering Sunday of Lent. A bit of a break from the doom and gloom of Advent. I remember once as a, stu a theological college student being told that Advent and Lent were seen to be seasons of, uh, of, of fasting and deprivation. And I th really dreaded the whole idea of that because I don't do fasting and deprivation in a big way. But John the Baptist was a controversial character, somebody who stood out. He was dressed weirdly, he had a strange and challenging message, and he was somebody who was there to challenge the whole institution of, of the Jewish faith. We live in times that are interesting and difficult. We live in times where we're going through life-changing negotiations about our political and economic future. As I speak to you, uh, getting on for six o'clock this evening, I haven't actually bothered to watch the news because I find it all just so depressing. Um, but I will, and I will, I will gather my own thoughts together. But I'm sure that as a nation, we will be like the times of John the Baptist. We will be challenged. We will be looking for something new. And I hope that we find it. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Don't let the current situation grind you down. There is always hope where there is faith in Christ. Amen.